Today's video is all about hooded eyes, baby. I am going to be sharing with you the do's and don'ts when it comes to eyeshadow and hooded eyes. The biggest complaint I hear from people is that when they open their eyes, all of that beautiful shadow and all of their hard blending work completely disappears. This is the biggest issue when it comes to eyeshadow and hooded eyes. You close your eyes, you're looking in the mirror, you're looking downwards and you're like, oh my goodness, look at this beautiful shadow. And then boom, you open your eyes and it all just completely vanishes. So I am going to share with you how to prevent that from happening. I'm going to show you the techniques that I use so that my shadow looks beautiful even when my eyes are open. I'm also going to be sharing with you the proper types of eyeshadow brushes that you're going to want to use that will work with hooded eyes. So with that being said, I'm going to zoom you guys in. On one eye, I'm going to show you the don'ts. And on the other side, I'm going to show you the do's. And that way we can see how much of a difference it makes when you actually do your eyeshadow based on your eye shape. Let's jump right into it. Number one, brushes. This is the most important part when it comes to hooded eyes and eyeshadow. We are going to start with the don't eye and we're going to start with a brush that looks like this. This is just a large fluffy eyeshadow blending brush. We are going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette. I have been loving this palette so this is what I want to use today. First off we're going to check our eyes make sure we don't have any creasing. I'll be fair. We'll make sure that both eyes don't have creasing. So this is going to be the don't eye. Just a reminder and this is the big giant fluffy brush that we're going to use. We are going to start off with this shade right here just barely as a transition shade. We're going to dip into that, tap off the excess, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shut my eye and I'm going to follow my natural crease and I'm just going to start going in a window wiper motion just following the exact shape of my eye. Now this shade might not show up too much because it is a transition shade and it's most likely just going to match the color of my skin. This is what we're going to start with. Now we're going to transition over to the good eye, the do eye we'll call it. And for this one I'm going to use the IT Cosmetics Tapered All Over Shadow Brush. This is one of their Heavenly Lux brushes. This is the number 27. Now why this brush works so well is because it is tapered. Why this is beneficial is because it will actually fit perfectly right above my crease. It's going to fluff the shadow out perfectly, not too much, not too little, and it just allows us to work perfectly with the little bit of real estate that we typically have on our eyes. So I'm just going to dip into that same shade just barely, except this time we're using the It Cosmetics brush. And with this, I'm going to keep my eyes open or slightly open. I'm going to look straight ahead, keep my brush pointed this way, straight into my eye, and I'm actually gonna work that above the natural crease. Now I'm gonna blend this shadow to about here. I'm not dragging it down, I'm bringing it to about here. Not here or here so much, but right here. Nope, ship shape. Now the reason for this being is that because my eyes are hooded, I do not want my eyes to droop downwards. I wanna have a lifted effect. And by going above my natural crease, and buffing the shadow out here and stopping right till I get about here, I kind of use my brow bone as a guide. I'm giving that lifted effect and when I open my eye, you can see already the difference that you can see the shadow even when my eyes are open, even when my eyes are closed, you can see that shadow. All right, let's go ahead and deepen things up. Transition back to the don't side. We're gonna stick with that same big fluffy brush, except now we're gonna go ahead and dip into this shade right here, Good Vibes. Again, I'm gonna shut my eye. I'm gonna kind of put this on the outer corner. And again, I'm gonna bring that up into my natural crease. And we're gonna keep that in windshield wiper motions, I like to call it, or back and forth motions. I'm gonna deepen it up, pick up a little bit more product. And again, I'm just gonna dab it on the outer corner of the eye and then into my natural crease. Back to the do eye, and we're gonna stick with that IT Cosmetics brush, dip into the shade Good Vibes. And we're gonna stick with the same type of technique. I'm gonna start out here above my natural crease with the light hand, keeping my eye open and bring the shadow out this way. As you can see, to jump back to technique here, I am going above my natural crease here, okay? Leaving my eye open, as I said before. I am doing some back and forth motions, but I do like to swirl my brush a bit 
just to make sure everything is getting blended. And as you can see, I'm never going past here. So we're gonna take this a step further. We're gonna deepen things up even more. We're gonna bounce back to the don't side. And this time we are going to use an even deeper eyeshadow color. And we're gonna to transition to a smaller brush like this, because the thought is, is that we want a little bit more of a precise application on the outer corner of the eye. So we are now going to dip into this shade right here, Uber this deeper brown, I'm gonna pick it up on this smaller brush, I'm gonna keep my eye shut, and I'm gonna dab that on the outer corner of the eye, and just kind of keeping it, again, within the flow of my natural crease, and blending that into my crease, but we're keeping it pretty much on the lid. Now see, when the eye is shut, this doesn't look too bad, but you're gonna see a problem with this in just a moment. Look what happens. Eye shut, doesn't look too bad, eye open, our shadow is basically completely gone. All you're seeing is this tiny area of shadow. That's it. Now, technically we could use the same brush and go over to this side, but I wanna stick with my IT Cosmetics brush. So I'm gonna dip into that Boo Bear shade. I'm gonna start by patting this on the outer corner. I'm gonna get the shadow down there bring it slightly above in a patting motion, my natural crease, and I'm keeping this brush tight. So I'm not fluffing this out anywhere here. I'm almost rounding it out on the outer portion of my eye here and packing that shade in. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more product and I'm gonna start to go above my natural crease and buffing that again in that outward motion. So you can see we have a nice gradient going here. Everything is blending well. Everything looks nice and tight, I like to call it. I still have some open space here. My eye looks lifted, but I'm definitely able to see all of the shades that I've laid down. You'll also notice that with my shadow, I've never bring really any of these shades down into this area here and that will make sense in just a bit here when we go in with our metallic shades. All right now we could even take it a step further and why not? Let's do it. We're going to dip into this deep dark brown shade called Cinnamon Roll. We're going to go bounce back to the don't side and we're going to pick up our small blending brush. I'm gonna again pat that on the outer corner here. I'm gonna keep that pretty flat to my lid and blend it into my natural crease. Let's bounce back to the do side and I'm actually gonna use this smaller brush, a little bit more of a detail, but I'll show you how to use it properly. So again, I'm always gonna dab first on the lid. That's where I wanna build up the color. And the reason why I do this is because I want the highest concentration on the lid and then whatever I have left over, then I can bring that up into my crease and blend it outwards. By doing that, I don't get too much shadow out here and it prevents a lot of mistakes. Now, I'm gonna kind of angle this brush downward because you can see it kind of domes because I do want to fluff up a little bit of that shadow above my natural crease, but I don't want it to totally wipe out everything I've already laid down. We are seeing a major difference. Look at this eye and then now look at this eye. Shadow is gone, and you wanna know a fun fact, you guys? This is how I used to do my eyeshadow all the now time. Now let's move on to some metallic shades. So what I'm gonna actually do is, we're gonna bounce back over to the don't side. I'm gonna pick up this shade right here, strip tease. I'm gonna pick up some of that on my finger. I'm gonna put that just in the center of the lid, and I'm gonna keep it, again, right below my natural crease. I'm gonna blend that right into that deeper shade that I already laid down. Now the reason why I like to lay a deeper metallic shade down is because because when I put in a brighter shade right here, it has something to blend into and we get a beautiful ombre gradient effect. This is something I have been doing for a very long time. Good enough, we're gonna stop there, obviously sticking with the same shade. I'm gonna put that right in the center of the lid, but I'm gonna actually bring that again above my natural crease. I actually want it to meet up with this deeper shade that I have up above my crease. So that's almost like a guide. So I know where to lay the shadow down. Do not be afraid to bring a metallic shade up in to your crease. So now we're gonna move on to the shade that we wanna put in the inner corners. What shade do we want to use? I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade right here, Birthday Suit. We're still gonna use our finger. I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the Don't side. Now I'm gonna press that again just into the natural crease, not going above it. I'm gonna bring that right into that deeper shade that we already have laid down. Let's go back over to the good side and I'm gonna press that shadow in and I'm gonna bring that above my natural crease and into that deeper shade we've laid down. Blend those two together using my finger. These shadows are so good. I wish more people 
talked about this palette. Right, now that we're done with everything up here, let's move to the lower lash line. On this side, I'm gonna stick with this fluffy brush right here, the one that we use on the outer corner. This is the Laura Lee Los Angeles L28 brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up this shade right here, Boo Bear. And I'm gonna use that to drag along the lower lash line. And I'm just gonna make sure I bring that all the way in here and really smoking it out. Now on this side, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick up that same shade, but I'm gonna use this Laura Lee L30 brush. If you see this is like a flat, what I call like a liner brush. I'm gonna pick up that same shade Boo Bear, and instead I'm gonna press this along the lower lash line starting at the outside. I'm just gonna press it, and I'm gonna bring it to about the center of my lower lash line, right here kind of where my pupil is. I cleaned off the, what is this, the L28, and I'm actually gonna go into Good Vibes right here, just a little bit. I'm gonna angle the brush upward, and I'm gonna gently drag that to just blend out that deeper shade. And I can bring this one closer to the inner corner a bit to just blend everything out. Perfect, I'm satisfied. Let's go ahead and work on the inner corner now. I do want a shade that is a little bit more golden, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter for my inner corner highlight. I'm gonna use this pencil brush right here from Refier, I believe it's called, this is the number three. And let's go to the Don't Eye. I'm just gonna go ahead, and I'm just gonna dab that right in the center, like so. And then I'm gonna drag this along the brow bone like this and downwards. And we're just gonna kind of frame the entire brow. Now on this eye, sticking with the same products, I'm gonna keep this in the inner corner like this. But what I'm gonna do is bring some of that down onto the lower lash line right here, just kind of like where the tear duct is. And then I'm actually gonna look upwards and I'm gonna drag my brush following the natural contour of my eye. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely gorgeous. And I like a really poppin' inner corner highlight. Absolutely stunning. And then what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna just highlight right here in the arch of my brow where the light would naturally hit. I'm not gonna drag it down or go any closer. I'm just gonna put it right there. Let's move on to eyeliner. Now eyeliner is a struggle with hooded eyes. It is one of the hardest things to accomplish, whether you are just lining near the lash line or if you are wanting to do a wing, it is damn near impossible to do. I'm not a fan of wing liner regardless. It's just not something that I love. There is a way to do it, but it's just not my favorite look. What we're gonna do today is we are just going to do a simple, line. That's all we're going to do. I'm going to use this Rem Beauty liquid liner and let's start with the don't side. So I'm going to do again. So we're going to, we're going to close the eye and we're going to do a nice line. I'm not going to go crazy. By the way, this is like the easiest eyeliner on the planet to use. I am obsessed with this formula. It is so good. All right. So let's go over to the do side and I'm going to keep this very close. I need a mirror. Very close to my lash line. I am not gonna bring this up really at all. I basically just want this liner to accentuate my lash line, basically stamping the liner on. This will just make my mascara look a bit more full. All right, just like that. I don't want anything more than that. Let's curl the lashes. We'll go back to the don't side here. I'm not gonna use any lash primers or anything like that. I'm just gonna go right in with my mascara. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brag Mascara. And I'm just gonna comb the mascara through like this. We'll hit the lower lash line just a bit. Does anyone else accidentally clamp their eyelid in their lash curler? And does it make your eyes water? Oh my God, I can feel my eyes watering every time I do this. My eye just turns red and I don't know why, whatever. All right, we are gonna use the Essence Volume Booster Mascara Primer. Now you do not have to use a primer, but let me tell you, this is a game changer for a mascara. This is gonna add to the longevity of your mascara. It's gonna add to the length, the volume, and it's also going to make it so when you go to wash off your mascara, it actually comes off easier. I don't know why that is. It's just something that works. Um, trick is to kind of let that dry down a bit and get a little bit tacky. This time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna really get in the base of my lashes. I'm gonna wiggle and roll at the same time. And this is really gonna ensure that all of my lashes are coated and separated. It's gonna grip all of that primer. Let's do some liner in the waterline as well. I'm gonna use this Norvina Chroma Stick. This is in the shade black. 
I'm gonna run this along the waterline here on the don't side, and I'm gonna run it along the waterline here on the do side. I'm actually gonna go into my tear duct and kind of flick that liner out. Here is the do side. Looks fabulous, awake, rejuvenated, lifted, stunning. And then here is the don't side. You can't see any colors. My eyes actually look smaller. And again, my face just looks like it's being pulled down. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you already followed these tips and tricks, if this is how you already do your eyeshadow on a daily basis. What mistakes did you find out that you were making after watching this video? And let me know if this was helpful. And if you wanna see more videos just like this, I don't do a ton of tutorials on my channel. I love filming them. I just don't know if people are truly genuinely interested in them. So give me a comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed it. A thumbs up also lets me know that you enjoyed this video as well. If you are new here, I would absolutely love it if you would stick around and hit that subscribe button. I wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and watching this video. It means the world to me. I love you guys so much and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Mwah. Bye guys!